Once we understand chromocellular intelligence, then we can apply what we have learned to experience chromocellular activation. Chromocellular activation refers to the capacity to project the chromocellular experience in all of its informational coherence into different time dimensions. This is the system used by the GM-108X mindstream. Because of its evolved nature, the GM-108X is able to project this whole field knowing as a type of high-frequency samadhi into an array of different time dimensions, also referred to as resonant field harmonics. See the Mayan Factor Chapter 2. This is done through a system of synchrotronic transmission. This is how the system of the galactic Mayan mind transmission originated in a twin galaxy or twin star system on a twin planet that had evolved to the next stage of synthesis as a planetary galactic art hall, noosphere. Synchrotronic radiation refers to the radiation emitted by electrons traveling close to the speed of light within a specifically defined magnetic field. For example, Synchrotronic radiation is very evident in the Crab Nebula. Most exploding supernovas also emit this type of synchrotronic radiation, which again are the electrons traveling close to the speed of light within a specifically defined magnetic field. Synchrotronic communication is the telepathic harnessing or use of this type of radiation to communicate and travel or project a whole field of resonance through paranormal coordination of synchrotronic radiation. This energy travels faster than the speed of light and can be utilized to find receptive vehicles open to receive telepathic communication. This information is communicated both mind to mind and also through particular types of sensory or whole body images or fields of resonance that can be received and transduced into artistic inspiration or other forms of greater morphogenetic complexity. For instance, Beethoven said that music is deeper than philosophy. This is true when we listen carefully to some of his compositions. They take us to a very deep place and suddenly we realize we are having a profound experience that cannot be communicated into words. A composer like Beethoven, who was virtually deaf, was receiving messages from beyond, translating them and bringing them to this world. Because of his receptivity, much of his music is actually coded communication from another dimension. Consider the following multi-valued perception of Dein Rudyar. A tone is a solar system composed of a central sun, of planets, a circulating magnetic substance relative to a vaster system. A tone is a microcosmos reflecting faithfully the macrocosmos and its laws, its cycles, its center. A tone is a living cell composed of organic matter that has the power of assimilation, of reproduction, of making changings or growing. A tone is something tangible and always means a certain mass of vibrating substance. Much of the intelligence that filters to this planet is a function of the highly directed synchrotronic communication beam that is streaming to Earth from the Arcturus galaxy. For instance, when we speak of passing through a synchronization beam, we are referring to a specific beam that is 13 Bactoons wide. All positive inspiration and knowledge coming to our planet is a function of this beam. This beam is transmitted and communicated to this planet to offset the effect of lost planet Analfs. See Cosmic History Chronicles Volume 3. At the beginning of the 13 Bactoon cycle 1618, that synchrotronic synchronization beam was stepped up in its focus on this planet for the purpose of continuously seeding the unconscious field of the Cybank with higher mind transmissions. These mind transmissions are generally picked up by writers, philosophers, musicians, painters, scientists and anyone positively inspired and sufficiently disciplined in any field. Again, these inspirations are sent to offset the deleterious effects of the lost planet Analfs, as they created the Babylonian stream of history. These synchrotronic beams are also responsible for the inspiration of various esoteric or hermetic traditions that also arose to counteract the effects of the Babylonian stream. Galactic Mayan Numerology GM means Galactic Mayan, 
galactic mind or galactic masters. The G is the 7 and M is the 13. 1 and 8 is 9 and 108 is a function of multiples of 9. 4 times 27, 3 times 36, 6 times 18, 9 times 12, 2 times 54. Every time 144 is multiplied by 3, 108 divides into that 4 times. This is a frequency index factor that shows that the program of the 108 is coded to the 144, which is the Book of Revelation number, and also the frequency of the Bactun cycles. 144 times 2 equals 288, the polar harmonic frequency. Whenever 288 is multiplied by 3, 108 goes into it 8 times. All the information then of the 108 stream is coded in accord with the meanings of those particular numbers as they occur in the whole range of possibilities within the development of the different streams of thought in Velatropa 24.3. The 108 is coded to the 144 by the number 36 and connects the Book of Revelation with the 144,000 days of the Bactun cycle. It should be noted that 288 times 90 equals 25,920, the precise number of years in the processional cycle of the zodiac. The procession of the zodiac describes how long it takes the Earth to go through the constellations, Pisces, Aquarius, etc., 2,160 years each. This illustrates how all of the cycles of the Earth are related to polar magnetism and either portends magnetic shifts or even a spin reversal. 144 times 3 equals 432. 108 times 4 equals 432. The number 288 is the supreme frequency representing the harmonic of polar light. 144 is one pole and the other 144 is the other pole. The 108 combines with 288. 3 times 288 equals 864. 8 times 108 equals 864. Consider the following. 3 times 288 equals 864. 8 times 108 equals 864. 6 times 144 equals 864. This pattern continues on up. The fourth factor is 216. 6 cubed or 108 times 2. 432 equals 216 times 2. 108 times 4. 144 times 3. 864 equals 216 times 4, 108 times 8, 144 times 6, 288 times 3. These four frequencies, 108, 144, 216 and 288, establish a set of primes forming creation templates utilized by four time lens units with different cosmic and creative functions through infinite orders of unified reality. Because of the enormous shift in eons, the GM108X has put in place the twin avataric functions that manifest at the final focalized pivot point of the current synchrotronic transmission. This transmission is beamed through the two prepared instruments to facilitate noogenesis and to project an energy configuration or coherency into the psi bank that will accelerate and precipitate the quantum mind shift, leading to the establishment of the new evolutionary cycle. The GM108X is the direct coordinating transmission of this particular beam. This is the same beam that began the surveillance of the experimental sector, the Velatropa sector approximately 104,000 years ago. Through the highly focused 1352 Samadhi, the specific mind transmission stream known as Votan became activated at this far distant point. Time Markers in the Life of Pakal Votan The key points in Pakal's life were the years 631, 683, 692 and 735. 
631 was the time of his illumination and manifestation of cosmic power. He is Galactic Agent 136656. This number is also a multiple of 288. 288 times 4745 is 1366560. -560. See my in factor appendix. This also completed 72 52 year cycles. 683 is the year he died. This completed 73 cycles. 72 is a factor in the tune cycles of 360, 72 times 5, or number of degrees in a circle. 73 has to do with the solar cycle of 365 days, or 5 times 73. Pakal's time of power was between those two fractal points. We know from the Mayan factor that 136656 is a factor of one of the most synchronizing of harmonic cycles. All of the Venus lunar solar galactic cycles and many other are keyed into this number. This was the peak point in the entire synchronization beam. Pakal's tomb was buried and the temple was completed and dedicated in 692, 90 years after his death. The dedication was on 9.13.0.0.0. From the time of 136656 AD 631, which is 9.12.13.0.0 to the dedication of the temple is exactly 80 cycles of 288. Pakal died at age 80. So this is a marker. The purpose and meaning of his death and prophecy was that the polar shift represented by the 288 is what we have to look for 60 years after the discovery of his tomb, 1952 for 60 is the frequency of his galactic signature, Yellow Galactic Sun, Kin 60. At that time, 140,000 years ago, in the timing of the overall cosmic activation of intelligence, this sector of the universe had entered the zone of the lost planet Analfs, the experimental zone. For this reason, it was necessary to put it in surveillance and determine when and where to focus the synchrotronic communication beam like a laser point in the mind of an otherwise undifferentiated stream of light. The central focus of this beam is the actual GM-108X mind transmission. This purpose and plan was planted in the terrestrial plane by Pakal Botan. The plan was then stored by the Red Queen as a mind terma for the end of the cycle. The Red Queen was a knowledge holder and the true successor of Pakal. Being hermetic, she wrapped herself in mystery, hence the enigma of the tomb of the Red Queen, the nameless one without record.